Las Vegas Raiders lovers, get ready for news that could change the course of the NFL. In recent days, an exciting rumor has emerged that has left everyone guessing, is Devontae Adams planning a triumphant return to the Green Bay Packers? The world of professional football has witnessed an exciting turn in recent days, with speculation surrounding Devontae Adams' possible return to the Green Bay Packers. The star-wide receiver, who currently plays for the Las Vegas Raiders, has sparked rumors about a possible return to his Wisconsin roots, causing an uproar among NFL fans and pundits alike. Will this rumor become reality? Stay tuned for our video to find out what's happening. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your opinion in the comments. What has caused the recent rumor about Devontae Adams' return to the Green Bay Packers? Adams' recent activity on Instagram, where he praised the signing of his former teammate Josh Jacobs with the Packers, has fanned the flames of speculation. This action has led many to believe that Adams could be interested in rejoining the franchise that saw him flourish as one of the most dominant receivers in the league. The backstory of this story adds an extra layer of intrigue. Two years ago, the Packers surprised many by trading Adams to the Raiders for draft picks. Since then, Adams has been a prominent force in the Raiders' offense, but his departure left a significant void in the Packers' passing game. Adams' possible return to Green Bay could be a blessing for the Packers, who have been missing his on-field presence. Despite the relative success with Jordan Love at the helm, the lack of a star receiver like Adams has been evident. His return would provide an injection of proven talent and experience at the wide receiver position, which could elevate the performance of the entire Packers' offense to new levels. However, not everything is rosy in this story. Adams' lucrative contract could be a significant obstacle to any comeback attempt. At 31 years old, Adams is at the peak of his career and expects to be compensated accordingly. The Packers would have to evaluate whether they are willing to make the financial commitment of bringing back Adams, especially given the potential impact on their cap space and his ability to sign other key players. How do you think Devontae Adams' return would affect the current Las Vegas Raiders team dynamic? Ultimately, Adams' potential return to the Packers raises a number of fascinating questions about the future of both sides. Are the Packers willing to make the necessary concessions to bring back one of their most talented players? Is Adams ready to leave his time in Las Vegas behind and return to his roots in Green Bay? These questions can only be answered with time, but one thing is certain, Devontae Adams' return to the Packers would be a true fairy tale in the world of the NFL. We also have the return of two great defensive tackles which you will be left knowing in this video. Leave your like to support the channel and this community of fans. The Las Vegas Raiders are strengthening their defensive line with the recent re-signing of defensive tackles Adam Butler and John Jenkins, representing a strategic move to maintain strength and cohesion in that crucial unit. Adam Butler's return is especially notable, as the rotational pass rusher made a significant impact last season, racking up five sacks, third most on the team. His ability to generate pass pressure, as evidenced by his 28 pass rushes, provides a valuable element to the Raiders' defensive game. Additionally, his ability to collapse the quarterback pocket not only increases his chances of stopping the offensive drive, but can also create opportunities for his teammates, such as Max Crosby and Malcolm Kuntz. On the other hand, the return of John Jenkins adds stability and experience to the Raiders' defensive line. At 34 years old, Jenkins proved his worth last season by racking up a career-high 61 total tackles. His ability to stop runs and his ability to occupy space on the line are essential attributes in defending against the opponent's running game. With Jenkins in the lineup, the Raiders can expect a solid performance in run defense, effectively complementing his ability to rush the quarterback. These strategic moves not only bolster the Raiders' defensive line, but also offer valuable guidance for their approach in the upcoming NFL draft. Although the signing of Christian Wilkins indicates that the Raiders could be looking in another direction with their number 13 overall pick, the age of Butler and Jenkins suggests that the defensive tackle position could still be a consideration in the middle rounds of the draft. Long-term planning is essential in building a successful team, and maintaining a balance between veteran experience and emerging talent is key to stability and sustained performance.
All in all, the return of Adam Butler and John Jenkins is a positive step for the Las Vegas Raiders as it bolsters their defensive line and provides a solid foundation for continued success in the upcoming NFL season. With these moves, the Raiders are demonstrating their commitment to continuous improvement and competitiveness in the league. What is the strategic approach the Las Vegas Raiders are taking to strengthen their team for the upcoming NFL season? Apparently, the Raiders' strategy is already leaking this season. We will tell you everything in this video, so stay until the end so you don't miss anything. In the hustle and bustle of the NFL offseason, the Las Vegas Raiders have been working diligently to put together a roster that promises to be a competitive force in the upcoming season. Led by general manager Tom Telesco, the team has made a series of strategic moves that aim to strengthen both its defensive and defensive lines, thus laying the foundation for a promising future. One of the Raiders' first notable moves was the signing of veteran defensive lineman Christian Wilkins. This acquisition brings experience and strength to the defensive line, strengthening a unit that already has notable talent such as Max Crosby and Malcolm Kuntz. The addition of Adam Butler also bolsters this critical area of the team, establishing the Raiders as one of the best defensive lines in the league. In addition to the new additions, the Raiders have managed to retain key players in free agency, such as running back Amir Abdullah and center Andre James. These decisions show a commitment to continuity and provide stability in critical positions on the team, especially considering the changes in the coaching staff. However, not all the news is positive, as the Raiders have let go of some important players such as Josh Jacobs and Jermaine Illuminor. These moves reflect a re-evaluation of the team's strategy at certain positions and the search for new opportunities to improve. As they move into next season, the Raiders must maintain their focus on building a balanced and competitive roster. This could involve seeking new additions through the NFL draft or free agency to fill voids left by departed players. Additionally, it is crucial that the team continues to develop its young talent while leaning on the experience of veterans to lead on the field. What next steps are expected of the Raiders as they prepare for next season, and what strategies could they implement to fill potential holes on the roster? In short, the Raiders are demonstrating a methodical and deliberate approach in building their roster for next season. With a mix of veteran and emerging talent, the team is primed to compete in the league and make the playoffs. Without a doubt, this quiet but effective approach could take the Raiders to new heights in the upcoming NFL campaign. Let's go Raiders!